Okay, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be showing you how to solve for frequency and wavelength. This is uh, real quick and easy. It's nothing difficult. Um, all you really need to know is this symbol right here, which is... Uh, where is it? Here we go. So all you need to know is that the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. And you can manipulate that formula if you want to solve for the wavelength. Uh, lambda here stands for the wavelength. You know, you just manipulate this, and it's nothing more than the speed of light divided by the frequency is equal to the wavelength. So they're just, you just swap them, and that's how you can solve for either one. Or if you wanted to confirm that this, uh, confirm them, you just say that the speed of light is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and let's, let's use these formulas. So... Let's say that uh, you we have a problem here, right? Let's say let's say that we we know the wavelength of ultraviolet light. Let's say ultraviolet light, UV light, is about three hundred and ninety-five nanometers, or that's three hundred and ninety-five times ten to the negative nine for nano. Okay, and that's in meters. Now, what we want to find out is we want to find out what's the frequency of ultraviolet light. So what you do is, well, in order to solve for that, we're just going to go ahead and solve for the frequency, which we use this formula. Since we already know what the speed of light is and we know what the, what the wavelength is, well, we just have to solve for the frequency. So we go ahead and say the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. In this situation, uh, well, we've already, we're already given the wavelength, so... Let's see, so we just plug in values for this. So the speed of light, that is just 3 times 10 to the 8 power, and this is in meters per second. That's going to be all over, and this is going to be 395. 395 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Well, that's a 10, sorry. Okay, so in this situation, meters cancels out. Uh, and I don't know this off the top of my head. So let's go ahead and plug that into my calculator. That is 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 395 times 10 to the negative 9. And that is going to be a ridiculous number. That's, uh, this is equal to a frequency of 759 times 10 to the 12. Uh, well, it's actually hertz. Now, hertz, I didn't mention this before, but hertz is actually equal to 1 over seconds, okay? So, the frequency of ultraviolet light is 759 times 10 to the 12 hertz. Roughly. Yeah, it's, it's roughly. It's, I guess my calculator says it's 759.4936709. So, I'm just going to round it to 700. We can just, if you want to round it for, just for the sake of neatness, we could say it's 700 and 60 e to the 12 hertz. e to the 12 is the same thing as saying times 10 to the 12. Okay, so that so we've solved for the frequency. Now let's say now let's say we have uh, let's see for problem number two. Let's say that we we know that the frequency we have some frequency of I don't know. Let's say 300. 300 megahertz, okay? We have some, some, electromagnetic, some electromagnetic radiation that has a frequency of 300 megahertz. And we want to know, well, what's that wavelength? So in order to solve the wavelength, it's really simple. We're just going to use the same formula. So we saw this formula, which the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by lambda. Now we're just going to manipulate this in order to get lambda or the wavelength, is equal to the speed of light divided by the frequency. The speed of light that's given, that's 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now we're going to divide by the frequency. The frequency is 300 megahertz. And from before, we know that megahertz is the same thing as saying 1 over, uh, one over seconds. So this would be... 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. 
And then all I'm doing right now is just changing the unit so you can see it. This is 300 megahertz. So that's actually mega is the same thing as saying uh, times 10 to the 6. And since it's in hertz, we're going to switch that over to its actual units, which is 1 over seconds. Now we can go ahead and solve this. Well, uh, I think you can already see what the answer is, but let's go ahead and uh, pop this into the calculator. 3e to the 8 divided by 300e to the 6. And it's largely what we expect. So, you notice how you have two zeros here, right? Oh, look, it makes a little happy face. Anyhow, when you have those two zeros there, what you could actually do is just take these two zeros and just add them to that 6. So this is really nothing more than uh, 3 times 10 to the 8. Here you have 1 over seconds. Now, when we're dealing with meters per second all over something over seconds, when you get this form, you can just go ahead and rewrite this as meters per second times, and then you just flip this. So it would be seconds over one, and these seconds cancel out, and you're just left with meters. So let's go ahead and write the final answer down. So now we know what the wavelength is. The wavelength is going to be equal to um, one meter. So if you have a wave, uh, or not a wavelength, uh, yeah, if you have a frequency of 300 meters per second, or not meters per second, I'm sorry. If you have a frequency of 300 megahertz, uh, what you're going to actually end up getting is a wavelength of one meter. So, okay, that's pretty straightforward. Anyhow, I uh, hope that helped you out. If it did, great. Um, good luck in your classes, and uh, don't forget to review the material because after a while you're going to forget it. So, all right, good luck in your classes, and have a good day.